Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGangie doing political commentary for the Media Speaks with a bonus show. Uh, it's the second time we've done a bonus show uh, for Rand Paul. I'm going to set up so my low-def listeners, uh, live listeners right here, high-def, hello, uh, my Rand Paul shirt because I have not yet got around to purchasing one. Um, it's a thank you, Rand show. And it's a thank you, Justin Amish show. Now, I've done prior shows on reasons why Rand Paul is not his dad. I've covered this two or three times. Don't leave me comments saying he's not what his dad. Okay, we agree. But we have also established on past shows, and I won't be going back over it, that Rand Paul is not the lesser of two evils. Rand Paul is not evil, even if you don't like some of what he's done. I don't either. That doesn't mean he's evil. Most of the other people in the election are either useless or evil. And what Justin Amish, who I would love to see for president, um, I was just telling Christelle that it might be a good idea for him not to run right now because Amish is going to get schlack right now if I think if he runs. But I'd like to see Rand pick him as a running mate. I'd like to see Rand pick Judge Napolitano to run with. Um, Rand has really put his political career, no matter what you think of him, Rand Paul has put his entire political career on the line, and he has walked the walk and talked the talk here. So what I'm going to do is um, cover um, what, what we're looking at now. It's called, Here's What Happens Now That the Patriot Act Provisions Expired. This is USA Today, dated 1220. It's only 402 now, friends. That's why I'm doing a bonus show. I already worked for nine hours. But, um, no, this needed to be covered, and I know you guys are wanting to know this. A lot of you are going to be waking up to this show. So, uh, here we go. Good news to start your day. The Senate voted Sunday, it says, to move forward with consideration of the USA Freedom Act, a measure that would end the controversial bulk collection of phone metadata. So, um, what is it? it, it oh, I do want to add this. It says, Senate leaders were unable to reach a deal to avoid the expiration. Obviously, we wouldn't be talking this is what it does. It says, the lone wolf provision of the law has expired. This allows U.S. intelligence, and there's links to all of this in the article, and law enforcement agencies to target surveillance at suspected terrorists who are acting alone without any direct ties to terrorist groups or rogue nation. It specifically says that it does not apply to U.S. citizens. It has never actually been used, White House, White House officials said. Oh, but yet they had such a fit about it going away. The roving wiretap provision has, thankfully, expired. Thank you, Justin Amish. Thank you, Rand. What other politicians do you know of? Maybe some local people where you live watching this that I don't know of. Leave their name in the comment line. Make sure when you share this video, and please do, that you, you make sure you pump your guy that's, you know, in Joe, Joe Town somewhere that I don't know about. Maybe they've really stood up against the uh, Patriot Act. Make sure they get credit, okay? I'm doing Rand and J Amish here. The, the federal law that expired the roving wiretap, it allows federal agencies to monitor a person rather than a specific phone or electronic device. The government can keep track of suspected terrorists regardless of how many cell phones they use or throw away. Approval for the surveillance must be obtained by a federal court. And we'll get to this in a minute. Rand Paul has an excellent point, and we, like I said, I'm going to play his five-minute speech and do commentary over it. Um, it's very important to realize we have... A system set up to catch these people. If somebody is a suspect, we can get a warrant. It's never been part of the Patriot Act uh, is irrelevant. We were able to get warrants before, during, and now after the Patriot Act. So don't tell me it's going to make us less safe if we need to, to look into somebody. You get a warrant, and then you look into somebody. It says Section 215 of the Patriot Act has expired. This section has generated the most controversy. Thank you, uh, Eric Sn or Ed Snowden, as well. And debate because the NSA has used it as a basis to collect the phone records of millions of Americans not suspected of any crime. Many members of Congress would like to see this section changed or repealed. Uh, let, me, uh, let me tell you something. There are a lot of times that you have things on your computer that you don't mean to have. Um... For instance, uh, back when chat rooms were big, and nobody at all, you probably even know that they are anymore, uh, thanks to things like Google Hangout. But you, 
I had a guy in the chat room. We were talking about politics, world peace, blah, 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 in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. And he sent me a link saying this is the truth about how things are in the West Bank and this and that and the other. And it was a Hamas site. It, I think I, if I'm not mistaken, it was Hamas's site. So, it, what, the NSA is going to see that, you know, oh, he's got long hair and tattoos and, uh, oh, he's looking at Hamas sites. How about, how about pre preparation for this show? Do you ever think of that? Do you ever think of some of the things I look up just in order to get facts aligned for this show? So, Section 215 opened a very dark doorway that I'm happy is closed. It says, all investigations of phone records under 215 of the law will stop immediately. Thank you, Rand. Thank you, Justin Amish. A clause in the Patriot Act allows the NSA to continue investigations it has already started. The agency collects data that shows who made and received calls, how long the calls lasted, and when they happened. The data does not include the substance of those calls. And we've already seen these, these kinds of things used to spy on people and bring down political enemies and things like that. And thankfully, friends, it looks like it's going the way of the dinosaurs. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the five-minute speech by Rand. I do believe I'm going to get a strike on my, fate, my YouTube account if I don't give commentary at least every 30 seconds. But I'm not going to talk over him. Actually, what I'm going to do is take this mic off and set the low-def mic right here by the speaker. It doesn't matter for the high-def. You'll hear it. Um, I'm going to set it over here so that you can hear exactly what it is that Rand was saying and why he was saying it and exactly why he did what he did. And uh, again, thank you, Rand and Justin Amish. This is brought to you by Sticker Junkie. This is a debate over the Bill of Rights. This is a debate over the Fourth Amendment. This is a debate over your right to be left alone. It has been said, according to libertarianism, that a man's most basic right is, in fact, the right to be left alone. Justice Brandeis said that the right to be left alone is the most cherished of rights. It is. The right to be left alone is the most prized to civilized men. Let us be clear, we are here tonight because the president continues to conduct an illegal program. Exactly, and that's why we beat it. The president has been rebuked by the court. The president has been told in no in explicit terms, the president has been told that the program he is conducting is illegal. And he could stop it immediately. The president no on television. The president wants to blame it. He says, anybody but me. But you know what? The president started this program yes, he did. without congressional permission. Yes, he did. Even the authors of the Patriot Act say that the Patriot Act in no way gives authority to the president to collect all of your phone records all of the time. If there ever was a general warrant, if there ever was a generalized collection of information from people to which there is no suspicion, this is it. What he's saying is you're not allowed to spy on the people as if we were in Nazi Germany. You're not allowed to go through everyone's records. And there were people like me that were in favor of the Patriot Act initially because we were promised that it was going to be temporary. And at the time that 911 happened, you were, you were willing to allow certain leniencies when you thought they were temporary. And guess what? It wasn't temporary. It's 15 years later just about, and we're dealing with it now. We are not collecting the information of spies. We are not collecting the information of terrorists. We are collecting all American citizens' records all of the time. Which the NSA officials, especially some of those who have now stepped out of the organization, have said made it harder there's too much hay to ever find the needle, is the analogy they used. Look it up. This is what we fought the revolution over. That would be the freedom of the country. Are we going to so blithely give up our freedom? Are we going to so blithely go along and just say, take it? Well, I'm not going to take it anymore. Good. I don't think the American people are going to take it anymore. 80% of those under 40 say we've gone too far. Well,
Well, I'm 42 and I think we went way too far. And let me add something else. For those of you that say, I hope he walks the walk, friends, he is walking the walk. He staked his entire political career on this. You know they're going to use it against him in the debates and say he made us less safe. Do you realize that? How can records be relevant to a, 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 an investigation that hasn't started? How are your phone records relevant to an investigation when no one's investigating you? The court has said that even under these lower standards, even under these standards of saying that it would be relevant, then all of the stuff they're collecting is precisely irrelevant. If you are to collect everything that is relevant to a case, if there is no case, then everything they're collecting that isn't an investigation is irrelevant. By their own definition of the term irrelevant. Are you understanding this? This appeared on CNN. I am doing perfectly legal commentary over it. They're saying they're not listening to your phone calls, right? But they lied about the program ever existing, so why are we supposed to believe that they're not listening to every phone call? And this matters. It matters because what if you're going to run for public office and maybe, you know, maybe you're hiding a sexual demon in your closet. Maybe you used to use drugs. Whatever. Do you see how this can be used to, against somebody, anybody, at will, anytime you want to blackmail anybody for any reason? He still has a job. We should be upset. We should be marching in the streets and saying, he's got to go. We can't allow this. We can't allow the rule of law to be so trod upon that we live in an arbitrary governmental world where they collect anything they want, any time they want. Keep in mind, there has not been one terrorist confirmed to be uh, stopped, a serious terrorist plot due to this mass, sur mass surveillance. As a matter of fact, you could argue that some of the terrorists that have hit places are because they had too much data to stop it. Now, <clears throat> it's at 321. At 330, he says the most intelligent things you've ever heard. And since to be legal, I have to keep co uh, commenting over it every 30 seconds, I'm not going to say anything other than yes. As long as I comment something, it's legal. So ignore me and listen to what this man says at the last minute and a half of this. Please to put your phone down and listen to what he says the last th minute and a half here. Please listen to this. Yes. People say, how will we protect ourselves without these programs? What about using the Constitution? What about using judicial warrants? Yep. The Sonora boy, the Boston bomber, they say, how will we look at his phone record? Get a warrant. Put his name on it. You can get a warrant. There's no reason in the world the guy had already bombed us. Do you think anybody was going to turn down a warrant? That's logic. Why didn't they have suspicions on him? Maybe because they've collected phone records on people like me. The Simpson guy that was shot in Garland, he'd already been arrested. We had suspicion. Let's hire a thousand more FBI agents. Let's hire people to do the investigation and quit wasting time on innocent American people. Exactly. Let's be very clear while we're here. President Obama set this program up. The President Obama who once was against the Patriot Act. The President Obama who once said, you know what, we should have judges write warrants. The President Obama who once believed in the Fourth Amendment. Remember, uh, Obama said he was a constitutional scholar, remember? Remember that? He was against the Patriot Act, remember? Now he's been fighting to keep it all these years. Do you remember this? Do you know that Hillary was obviously part of his... his, uh, his closest. He was secretary of hate for crying out loud. She's in favor of it too. Is the 
president now scooping up all your records illegally. And then he feigns concern mm -hmm. and says, oh, we need to pass this new bill. He could stop it now. Why won't someone ask the president? Why do you continue? Why won't you stop this program now? The president has every ability to do it. We have every ability to time, our nation's time has And I intend on protecting the Constitution. Friends, that that right there, excuse me, that right there is exactly why I'm saying we need to take a look at Rand. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for, but I will say this. Take a look at Rand. Realize that we're not dealing with a bad person here. We're not dealing with an evil person here. We're dealing with somebody who has almost single-handedly worked to eliminate the Patriot Act, and he did. Thank you, Rand Paul. This is the correct views. Um... Make sure you go to TheMediaSpeaks.com, look up the works of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. We're posting all the time. And uh, remember to look up the works of Mike McLaughlin, M-I-K-E-L-A-U-G-H-L-I-N. He donates to the show. You can, too. Every penny you give to the show goes towards a better show. How do you do it? The correct views at Hotmail.com. Good night, friends. God bless. Uh, look for a massive Fukushima update, probably two parts, and a dunce cap this week. Good night, friends. God bless.